evening and welcome to Tuesday Night Girls High School Basketball. Tonight, a matchup of BDC schools in non-conference play tonight as the Eden Bombers will play host to the Montpelier Locos. Montpelier checks in at 3-1 and one on the season, Eden at 1-5. and five. Good evening and welcome in. Andy Briggle with you here tonight. Suzanne Hollibaugh will be back with me on Friday night when we return here to Eden. For Eden, they won on opening night back on November 25th, rolling over North Central, but then it has been some struggles since then, some close losses, uh, uh, mostly close losses. Only one time where uh, was Eaton blown out in the uh, five-game losing streak that they're in the middle of right now. They fell to Antwerp in game two, 49-41, hammered by Ayersville, 54-24. That's a really good Ayersville team, maybe the favorite in the Division Four district. Lost by two to Paulding, lost to two to Stryker, and lost by 14, but a closer game there in that one as well to Fremont, Indiana. Montpelier, meanwhile, has won three of their first four games with wins over Hilltop, Edgerton, and Fayette. The lone loss came against Delta a week ago tonight. We're just getting started here on the pregame show. When we come back, we'll have our Brian Ford Lincoln conversation with the head coaches, Kayla Walker from Eden and Mike Bum from Montpelier. They'll join us for those conversations when we come back. Beat the chill at Knocking Point Outfitters. Thaw heating products, rechargeable seats, hand warmers, and heated wraps for cold weather comfort. Grab a gift card for the perfect outdoor gift. Visit them on County Road 17, just south of U.S. Route 6, outside of Bryan. Knocking Point Outfitters, your warmth destination. Hello, I'm Paul Rorick Jr. And I'm Sierra with the Fackler Monument Company in Montpelier, Ohio. Are you searching for a lasting memorial to honor your loved ones? Let us guide you through the entire process of choosing a memorial with compassion and care. Come visit our showroom. We have the largest indoor display in the tri-state area. Fackler Monument Company, where three generations of tradition and trust come together. Visit our website at facklermonument.com. We have been serving families in the tri-state area since 1924. Be part of the Montpelier athletic boosters and help support all the athletes at the Montpelier schools by calling 419-485-6785. The Montpelier athletic boosters would like to wish all the Montpelier athletes good luck in today's game. Strive to be the best and you will succeed at everything you do. The Montpelier boosters are proud of all your achievements. Good luck and do your best. That's all anyone can ask. And go Locos! Precise Metal Form, 810 Commerce Drive in Bryan wants to say good luck to the Eden Bombers in tonight's athletic contest. Precise Metal Form is a proud supporter of Eden Bomber Athletics, both boys and girls sports. Precise Metal Form in Bryan, saluting the athletes on all of their hard work and wishing them the best of luck in this athletic contest. Precise Metal Form, 810 Commerce Drive in Bryan, saying go Bombers in this game. As we roll on with our pregame show tonight, time for our conversation with the coach. We're talking with Eden, head coach Kayla Walker and well uh, Kayla last out uh, I believe what last Thursday a, a tough one at uh, Fremont Indiana what were some of your takeaways uh, from that game last week just eliminating second chance opportunities um, for our opponents um, they really out outworked us on the glass and um, you know we, we got to find people to box out and eliminate some second chance opportunities Five uh, in a row, I guess six games in, rather. Um, what are some of your positives that you've seen so far, Kayla, out of this group? Um, defensively, I feel like our, our kids do a great job of um, mixing things in. You know, we throw a lot of different defenses, so for them to be on the same page majority of the time is, is good to see. Um, they're executing offensively really well. We just we got to convert on our bunnies and, um, you know, get better at the stripes. You know, looking at the record, uh, five losses, but two have been by two points. One has been by, you know, eight points. So it seems like you're in these games. Uh, has the message kind of been with the girls, like, uh, do you understand how, you know, small the margin of error and how little things really add up after a while? Yeah, we talk about, you know, the small things and, you know, little things just as box outs and, you know, making our chippies and open layups. And when you go to the free throw line, you know, we have to have those points. All of those add up. So... When it comes down to, you know, a bucket or eight points, you go back and you look at, okay, turnovers and how many times we went to the line and did we convert. Do you feel, uh, get the sense that the girls are getting comfortable with their roles and what uh, you expect from them with this team this year? 
Yes, I do. I, I think they've done a nice job, um, especially in an in-game situation. You know, we've seen some kids step up in some leadership roles and just giving information or even during timeout. Um, it's, it's neat to see, and, and kids are filling in and supporting one another in, in their roles. Anyone really playing well for you to start the year? Um, freshman Nevaeh Smith has really done some nice things for us. You know, she's young coming in, and um, she's learning the game, but she's not afraid to step up and handle the ball for us and um, defensively doing some great things. Um, also, Grace Ricky, um, I can't talk about her defense enough. She just really sets the tone for our team. Um, you know, at the top of our press, um, and then in our, our defensive sets that, that we come out in. Um, and then Addison Briner, you know, she's been doing a nice job for us on the boards and, and scoring. All right, so tonight back at it, uh, you get a home game against uh, Montpelier. Tell me what you know about them. Yeah, Montpelier, they're, they're athletic, they're quick. Um, they can shoot the ball, so we've got to get out to them tough on closeouts, but, you know, give them enough space that, you know, we don't get beat on the drive. Um, defense is going to be big for us tonight, um, knowing where their shooters are at, um, eliminating those second-chance opportunities and beating them on the boards and um, knocking down free throws when we get the chance. Kayla, how important is it to get off to a good start in this game, especially early on, have some early success? Yeah, we need some momentum for sure. So um, we've got to come out and compete and just, you know, do what we know we can do and play bomber basketball and um, execute the little things tonight. It's our conversation with the coach. We're talking with Eden head coach Kayla Walker. Kayla, always appreciate the time. Enjoy the conversation. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Stay tuned. More on a pregame show coming up. If you've been thinking about a remodeling project for your home or business, Field Supply Center in Blakesley should be your first choice. Field Supply Center in Blakesley not only has all the lumber for that project, they also have all the building supplies you'll need, along with everything you need for the project, including the cabinetry, plus the expertise to help make your home even more beautiful. It's all at Field Supply Center, located in Blakesley. Field Supply Center, wishing good luck to all the players in tonight's game. John Dye and everyone at Strong Real Estate in Montpelier would like to wish all the athletes in tonight's game good luck. Located right in the heart of Montpelier, Ohio, Strong Real Estate Solutions is successfully helping people find that perfect home, building lot, or commercial property. Strong Real Estate Associates are available to provide you with full service in all your real estate needs. Contact John Dye today at Strong Real Estate Solutions in Montpelier, Ohio. Your home is the one place where everything should be perfect, including your air. Starks Plumbing and Heating Services helps you achieve the perfect air you deserve with reliable, groundbreaking, award-winning Lennox products. Call Starks Plumbing and Heating Services and see how soon you can get a Lennox home comfort system that will help improve your health and your mood. It doesn't get any more perfect than that. Call us today at 1-800-329-4040 or visit us at StarksPHS.com. Pelt's Lumber Company in Montpelier and Pioneer has some exciting news. Not only has Pelt's been bringing you the finest in building materials for generations, now they have a new website with a huge selection of items for you to browse right at your fingertips and in your own home. Just go to Pelt'sLumber.com and hit the products button. And there it is. Tools, hardware, lumberyard and building materials, windows, doors, kitchen and bath. Check out the items you need and the prices and stop by the store in Montpelier or Pioneer or give them a call at 419-485-3059. Pelt's Lumber, building for a new generation. And we welcome you back on the pregame show. It's time for our conversation with the coach, and we are talking with Montpelier head coach Mike Bum. And a oh, bummer, uh, last out, nice win for your girls over uh, Fayette. What were some of your takeaways from the win last week? Uh, slow start. Um, after that, I thought our pressure kind of wore on them a little bit. We were able to get some nice, easy transition buckets. And then the jump start, shot started to, to fall a little bit in the second half, you know, late in the first half, I guess, and then in the second half. And uh, we've got some kids, uh, some playing time that, that maybe uh, normally didn't, and that was nice to see. Um, so it was a good win. Um, it was a good win at home, but uh, got to get off to a little bit. That's two weeks in a row now uh, that we've started off a little bit slow, and you know, that's something we're going to have to talk about with the girl. I really don't know the reason for it other than it just kind of happens sometimes when you don't make buckets. It's uh, you, you have a slow start, and I think that's been the case against Delta on Tuesday night uh, of last week, and then Friday night with Fayette both times, and uh, man to get ourselves back in the game uh, on the Tuesday night game against Delta. Um, and then at the end there, we just kind of didn't make an 
enough shots there at the end to win that game. But uh, fortunately for, for Fayette, we kind of got up relatively early after the slow start and, and could, could stay away from them. But they, you know what? Also, I think sometimes, though, Goobs, we, we talk about the things that we were deficient in and, and act as if the other team didn't have anything to do with that. And I think that's kind of unfair. I hear coaches a lot of times will say that. And, and quite frankly, you know, Delta and Fayette, both of them came out and played very hard against us. So a lot of that credit needs to go to them. No, oh, bummer. Uh, three and one, uh, first four games in. Big picture, happy with what you're getting overall from the girls right now? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think we, we defensively, we're really good. Um, this is the best defensive team that I've had. Um, offensively, uh, a little inconsistent. I thought the first two games of the year we shot really well. The last two games against Delta and Fayette didn't shoot so well. Um, been pretty good on the free throw line, but last game against Fayette, we were atrocious at the free throw line. So I guess consistency offensively um, is something we're looking for. And we know we've got a few players that we think between them have to get about 30 points. And then collectively, we have a few players that we need to get 10 or 15 points a game for us to, 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 to win against good good basketball teams. And oh, it's not from lack of effort or anything like that. It's just you know, some nights you shoot a little better than you do. But the good thing is defense always travels, and we play pretty good deep. All right, next up for you, Eden. Uh, what do you know about them? Yeah, well, Eden's right now is on a losing streak, which makes me very, very concerned. Um, they won their first game of the year. They've lost two really tight games. We're ahead in a couple games, too, They're watching the film. Um, so we're at their, their court on a Tuesday night. You know, a lot of things right there that have me concerned about it because, you know, they're in games. They're just not winning them. Um, so it's one of those dangerous teams, you know what I mean, because they're better than their 1-4, their 1-5 and four, one and five record, whatever it is. Uh, really like the roster. Of course, Natalie Wolfer was the first team player for them, the post player. She does a great job of hanging around the rim and has nice back-to-the-basket moves and gets a lot of extra offensive rebound put back. So we got to have a body on her. But, no, it's, it's certainly concerning uh, when, when you've got a team who you think is probably better than their record indicates and you're playing them at home and they're really hungry for, for a win. So we know we'll get their best shot. It's our conversation with the coach. We're talking with Montpelier head coach Mike Bum. Bummer, always a pleasure. Appreciate the time. Best of luck against Eden in this one. You got it. Thanks, brother. And appreciate WBNO for covering us. Absolutely. We'll take a break. More in the pregame coming up. I'm here at Fackler Monument in Montpelier, Ohio, with Sierra and Paul Rory Jr., the new owners. But really, Paul, your family has been serving the area for a long time. That's right, Tim. We're the third generation, and it all started with my Grandpa George. Paul, many people are being cremated. Are there memorial options for cremation? Many people still choose a headstone in which the ashes are placed under the monument and sealed within the stone. There's cremation benches where the ashes are placed in the legs of the bench, and there's also columbariums. So, Sierra, there are many shapes and styles to choose from. From, whether a traditional burial or cremation? That's right, and we understand that it can be a little overwhelming. That's why it's important to come talk to us so that we can guide you with our experience to help you pre-plan. Our experience team realizes that it's not easy to select a memorial in a time of sorrow, so we invite you to come visit with us as part of your pre-planning. Go online to FacklerMonument.com to see what we have to offer. The Fackler Monument Company of Montpelier, Ohio, serving families in the tri-state area since 1924. Camco Industries, with facilities located in West Unity, Ohio and Marincy, Michigan, has openings on all three shifts for production and assembly operators. We manufacture interior plastic products for the automotive industry. As an operator, you will be required to visually inspect, trim, assemble, and pack parts, as well as label containers. You must be able to pass an entry-level test and a substance abuse test. Camco also has openings for shipping associates, material handlers, and production leads. Camco offers a complete benefit package, along with a bonus for the successful completion of probationary status, an attendance bonus, and a referral bonus. If you would like to join our team, please complete an application online at www.kumi-na.com or in person at Camco, 1001 East Jackson Street, West Unity, Ohio, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All rehires will be considered for employment. Hi, this is Mackenzie Now with Andrews O'Neill and Lowe Insurance Agency. Having a winning tradition for over 100 years is a big deal for any team, as our team at Andrews O'Neill and Lowe 
Insurance Agency celebrates this milestone. We know success does not happen by accident. It takes great teammates and partners like Central Insurance. By dedicating ourselves to the community, our clients, and each other, Andries O'Neill and Lowe has consistently risen above the rest in protecting your family, assets, and businesses. Thank you to all who have played a role in this 100-year journey. Learn more at andriesoneillandlow.com. This spring, pick your power. Steel Fuel Powered Equipment delivers proven performance and efficiency. And the Steel Lightning Battery System delivers the power to do more on a single charge. Get the all-new BGA45 Battery Powered Blower for just $129.95. Or pick the popular MS170 Chainsaw for just $179.95. Pick your power and then pick up a steel. All prices BES SRP at participating retailers. See Black Swamp Equipment or go to blackswampequipment.net. Time to dive in some numbers here tonight as we prepare for Eden and Montpelier. Looking at the Lady Bombers among their starters tonight. Leading scorer on the team is Natalie Wolford scoring 12 a game. Jason, or, uh, Addison Briner gets 9 a game. Jason Craven, 5 a game. Jenna Ripke, 2.5 a game. Grace Ripke at 2 points per game. Nevea Smith scores 7 a game off that Eden bench. For the Montpelier Lady Locos, they put two in double figures. Uh, a couple of juniors lead the way. J.D. Uribe's at 14 and a half points per game. Kelsey Bum averaging 12 a game on the season. Aaliyah Hillard at five a game. Mira McGee at four and a half a game. Madeline Hopper a point a game. And off the bench, Zoe Uribe's is scoring at five and a half points per game on the season. Addison Briner leads Eden in boards at seven. Grace Ripke next at five boards per game. As far as Montpelier is concerned, J.D. Uribe's and Madeline Hopper four and a half boards a game. Zoe Uribe's four uh, rebounds per game on the season. Some thoughts on this one, some keys as you hear from the coaches uh, on this one. Eden obviously has to protect the basketball a lot better in this one. Montpelier had a tough road loss against Delta. They did recover and knock off Fayette in convincing fashion. Another road trip tonight for them. How will they play tonight? How will they shoot the basketball? It's been a really good shooting team for the most part this season. How will they shoot the basketball? Anticipating seeing 3-2 three, two, and 2-3 two, of course, from the Eden Lady Bombers here tonight. Before we go to our final break, before the opening tip tonight, and of course we'll have the starting lineups and the officials, a couple of uh, milestones, one tonight and one, I believe last night it happened. First, the one last night, congratulations to Antwerp girls basketball coach Scott McMichael, who collected career win number 100 as far as, the, as being the girls basketball coach at Antwerp. So 100 wins as the girls coach at Antwerp. Of course, Scott, very successful boys head coach at Antwerp as well. And we are told tonight in the Fairview Continental Girls game, Kelly Kreitz has gone over a 1,000 for her career for Russell Z. Dykes Fairview Apaches. So congratulations to Kelly Kreitz tonight. Fairview, of course, heavy favorites in that matchup with Continental. We'll keep you updated on a lot of things going on around the area. Uh, as far as basketball is concerned, the marquee girls game of the night. A couple of really good programs, really good teams this year. Ottawa Glandorf and Liberty Benton are matching up in girls hoops. I know not in our immediate area, uh, but just outside the area as well. Still the Northwest District. We'll keep you updated on that. And, of course, all of the local games that are happening here in the 4 to 6 county area as well. Eden and Montpelier. Getting ready to get underway. Montpelier three and one. Eden one and five. Montpelier won the JV game tonight by the final of 40 to 32. In the Clinic Classic, Tenora leads Defiance 12-4. That's in the consolation game. Ayersville and Archibald play in the championship game. We'll take our final break. The lineups, the officials, and the opening tip when we come back. Attention, Brian Chappers. Are you in the market for high-quality appliances and furniture? Look no further than Direct Link Appliance and Furniture. They have a wide selection of Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid appliances, as well as service on all makes and models. And coming soon, they'll be carrying Ashley Furniture and Jameson mattresses. Don't miss out on unbelievable prices and top-notch services on everything you need to turn your house into a home. Visit Direct Link Appliance and Furniture in Brian today. Velan Chase wishes local high school sports teams a successful season. 
As one of the leading brass suppliers in the United States, Velen Chase manufactures brass rods, forgings, ingots, and water armor plumbing fittings at the two plants located in Holiday City. To learn more about products and job opportunities, visit BrassJobs.com. Chase a brighter future with Velen Chase. The more your life changes, the more your insurance needs change. See Danielle Van Atta of Danielle Van Atta Agency today. She can conduct a free personal insurance review to help you determine how much and what type of coverage is right for you with no costly gaps or overlaps. Interested? Phone Danielle Van Atta today at 419-636-0408. Always supporting student athletes and coaches in the Eden School District, the Eden Athletic Boosters. The Eden Athletic Boosters would like to take this opportunity to salute the student athletes and coaches in tonight's game. Hey, how would you like to be a part of the Eden Athletic Boosters? Come to a meeting and find out what they're all about. Maybe even volunteer at a concession stand. For more information, phone 419-272-3213. The Eden Athletic Boosters, supporting student athletes and coaches in Eden. Your friends at your neighborhood Eden Farmers Co-op Country Store would like to invite you to stop in at the Eden, Montpelier, and Edgerton stores to check out their complete line of pet supplies, animal feed, and outdoor products. They're friendly, knowledgeable staff is ready to answer all of your questions concerning their complete line of Kalmbach, Land O'Lakes, and much, much more. For your convenience, your purchase can be carried to your vehicle by one of their employees. Be sure to stop by soon and see them at your hometown country store, the Eden Farmers Co-op. Starting lineup time tonight for the Montpelier Locos, coached by Mike Bum. It will be Kelsey Bum, a five foot three inch junior, Aaliyah Hillard, a five three junior, Mira McGee, the lone senior in the lineup, and on the roster, a five seven senior, Madeline Hopper, a five seven junior, and Jada Uribe's a five foot nine inch junior. For Kayla Walker's Eden Bombers, it will be Natalie Wolford, a five nine junior, Grace Ripke, a five nine sophomore Jason Craven a five foot two inch senior Jenna Ripke a five eight sophomore and Addison Briner a five eleven sophomore again like Montpelier Jason Craven the lone senior on the team lineups tonight presented by Fackler Monument Company in downtown Montpelier for the Tri-State's best selection of monuments, remember Fackler Monument Company in downtown Montpelier. The officials working the game tonight who have their eyes on the game, presented by Tri-State Vision Center, they are Max Smeltzer, Craig Dravis, and Dan Carnahan. For all of your eye care needs, remember the Tri-State Vision Center of Northwest Ohio. 3-1 and one Montpelier, 1-5 one and five Eden, ready to get underway. They'll play their league game that first week of January. So this is a non-conference game a little bit before Christmas. And then, of course, the BBC matchup will be happening then on, it's like January 4th or 5th, somewhere in that neighborhood, that first week of the month of the new year. Interesting BBC ahead. Montpelier in their traveling blues, all blue, the two-tone blue, and Eden in their home whites with the blue numbers. It will be Briner for Eden, Uribe's for Montpelier to jump center circle, Dan Carnahan to throw it in the air. And our Tuesday night matchup is underway with the opening tip being controlled by Eden. They'll move right to left. Ripke top of the key gives it up now to Craven. Montpelier will start man-to-man. Craven going to be guarded by Aaliyah Hillard out in front. Bounce pass over to the right side to Jenna Ripke on the wing. Bum on her. Pass as wide of Briner. And the game's first turnover belongs to to the Eden Bombers. That OG Liberty Benton game, it's an 11-2 advantage and then a run making it 11-9 at the end of one quarter of play there in that one. Montpelier's first offensive possession now as Eden goes zone here to start. It's a 2-3 look defensively. Bum and Hillard across the top. Hillard has it at the volleyball line. Now over on the left point. Comes back high right side to Bum. Opening minute of the game. No score on the Andres O'Neill and low scoreboard. Bum on the wing to Hopper. Hopper funnels it out in front now, and they'll shift it over to Uribe. Uribe's top of the key. Diagonally now to McGee. Jumper on the way for a long two is no good. Rebound belongs to Ripke and Eden. And here comes Craven with a basketball. 
Craven at midcourt, crossing the timeline. Between the circle, dribble. Angling to the left wing, now to Wolford. Wolford top the key to Jenna Ripke. Now over to Craven. Flex cut inside. The layup will not go, however, for Natalie Wolford on the interior, and it's out of bounds and will go Montpelier's way. So the Locos taking back over here. In the 12 in, no score. Eden will pick up a little token pressure. 1-2-2, full court pressure. Here's Bum coming up the near sideline. Now middle of the floor on the dribble. Over on the wing to McGee. Slicing into the lane. They get it to Hopper and one. Wolford collects the foul. Madeline Hopper for two and a chance at a three-point play. Good ball movement by Montpelier that time against the pressure. And now Hopper to the free throw line. Free throw on the way is no good. Tie up then between Grace Ripke and and Uribe's and the rebound, the arrow belongs to Eden. Two to nothing, Montpelier. Here's Craven in the backcourt. Hillard will pick her up. Three-quarter court man. Screen was coming. And Craven now to Wolford. Wolford sends it over to Ripke. Triple try on the way. No good on the wing. Uribe's the rebound for Montpelier. Now it's Bum weaving her way through traffic, coming up into the half court. Over to Uribe's. Top of the key now with it. 6-10 to go in the quarter. Uribe's lost the dribble, but on the move, on the spin, the dribble bounced off the knee of a bomber and out of bounds. So Montpelier will keep it. Uribe's. Left side of the lane, out high to McGee. She'll kick it to Hillard. It's a long two. It's an air ball that will sail out of bounds and come Eden's way. Two to nothing, two minutes in. Montpelier in front on the Andres O'Neill and Low scoreboard. Here's Craven in the backcourt. Craven, right hand, power dribble up ahead. Craven throws to the post, deflected away by Uribe's. They were looking for Wolford, which is an intriguing matchup to keep an eye on down in the post, but a good deflection by J.D. Uribe's to swat it out of bounds. Here's Craven along the baseline. Craven. Backdoor cut, and it's a kick basketball by Hillard. Guarding that inbounds pass. Locos 3-1, and one, Eden 1-5. One and five. Bombers trying to put the brakes on a five-game losing streak. Trailing two to nothing here in the early going. Ripke in. That's Jenna to Grace Ripke. Jump shot circles around and out. No good. Had a terrific look. Just wouldn't fall from Grace Ripke. Here's Bum into the front court. Throws it to McGee. McGee on the wing. Whirling into the paint. Flips it out in front now to Hillard. Hillard between the circles. Five and a half to go in the quarter. Now it's McGee on the baseline left side. Circles out in front to Hillard. Good ball moving around now to Hopper against the 2-3. Hopper flips it back to Hillard. Hillard in the lane. Now to Uribe's. Uribe's going to a move. Pull up Jay in the lane. Danced on the iron and dropped in. May have gotten away with a walk, but gets it down. And it's a 4-0 Montpelier start to this one. Almost three minutes in. Grace Ripke, right side, on the elbow. Throws it out on top now to Craven as Montpelier stays man-to-man. Craven, no subs yet for either team. Down low, it's intercepted by a hustling hopper. Eden didn't do a good job that time in getting a passing angle to get it to the post. And Montpelier capitalizes. Here's Uribe's at the elbow. Taps it out now to Hiller. Now we're going to see our first subs at the next dead ball. On the wing to McGee. Flashing through, here's Hopper. Hopper pass uh, out of a double team was stolen away. It's a jump ball, but it will not be a turnover because it stays with Montpelier. Lila Mahan will come in for Montpelier. So will Zoe Uribe's. Nevea Smith will check in for the first time for Eden. 4 nothing Montpelier on the Andres and Nealon Low scoreboard. On the inbounds, it's Hopper. Hopper into the corner. Uribe's jacks up a three. No good. Rebound to Eden and Wolford. Rebounds are even at three apiece. But it's a 4 nothing Montpelier lead, Eden possession. Craven gets a high ball screen from Briner. Pick and roll to Briner. Layup no good, but she's fouled by Mahan and will shoot a pair. Great execution of the pick and roll. And now a two-shot foul opportunity here. Coming up for Addison Briner. Trying to get Eden on the board and can't cash in on the first one. One more to come. Back here Friday night for Hilltop at Eden in girls basketball. Then it's off.
to Defiance on Saturday. Boys hoops, Brian at Defiance. Briner goes 0 for 2, but an offensive rebound, Nevea Smith. She's held up by Bum. Possession arrow, though, keeps it with Eden. That was the game's first offensive rebound. Nearing the midway point of this first quarter, 4-0 Montpelier, Eden basketball. Craven on the wing to Grace Ripke. Ripke, one dribble left, now rotates it out to Smith. Smith will bring it on the bounce out in front. Bum on her man-to-man. Smith to the right side. Chest pass over to Grace Ripke. She'll get a screen from Briner. Ripke at the foul line comes to Craven. Catch and shoot. Three is good, and that'll get Eden on the board, breaking the seal on a three from Jason Craven. Capable shooter from the perimeter. Here's Bum. Pick and pop for Uribe's, and that's Jada with it. Spin move. Jada Uribe's going to the goal, lays it up, and it danced on the iron, would not fall. Rebound trickles out of bounds off Eden. I mean, that thing just danced on the iron and would not drop. Aliyah Hillard for Lila Mahan for Montpelier. 4-3. Montpelier with the lead and the basketball on the inbounds. Kelsey Bum catch and shoot. Three is good. Bum had plenty of time to pull the trigger and buried it just to the right of the top of the circle. 7-3 Locos. Craven lost the handle, dumps it right side. Wolford one-on-one with Uribe's. Crossover dribble, got help from Hillard. Dumps it out in front now to Ripke. Over to Smith. Smith puts it on the deck. Stopped at the elbow. Now comes back, rotates it to Grace Ripke. Cross court, Wolford. Wolford attacking. Muscles it up. No. Rebound, Montpelier. That was Hopper. Outlet now to Bum. Bum, little hesitation blew the blow by, and it's blocked away by Ripke. We out of bounds. No, it'll be saved by Eden. Good job to not only get the block, but then get the save and possession. Here's Smith. 2.45 left in the quarter. 7 to 3, Montpelier on the Andres O'Neill and Low scoreboard. Smith, jump stop, elbow jumper. No good. Rebound put back is good for two. Natalie Wolford working hard on the offensive glass. Shaves it to a 7-5 game. Montpelier in front. They've led all the way and by as many as four. Here's Bum across midcourt to Zoe Uribe's cutting through the lane to Sister Jada Uribe's. Didn't catch it cleanly. Slings it up no good. And on the rebound, we get a jump ball. Montpelier will keep the possession arrow. Mahan and McGee back in in place of Zoe Uribe's and Hopper. Wolford goes down, and Jenna Ripke back on the floor for Eden. Montpelier maintaining possession, up 7-5, 2.19 left in the first. Here's the inbounds to Bum. Shot fake to the dribble to the foul line. Now to a wide open, Jada Uribe's, who buries the triple from the wing. Five for Jada Uribe's, 10-5, Montpelier with the lead. And a turnover forced by Montpelier. On a deflection from behind, that's the third first quarter turnover for Eden. Zoe Uribe's will come and give Kelsey Bum a quick spell. So it's 10-5 Montpelier and the basketball as we drop under the two-minute mark left. Deflection by Jason Craven in the 1-2-2 pressure. Tapped it out of bounds. Montpelier will keep it with 1.57 to play in the quarter. It remains 10-5 Locos. Hillard can't find anybody. Now flashing to the basketball, Jada Uribe's. Uribe's with a double and triple team deflected away by Briner, and she tipped it out of bounds last. So it'll be Montpelier possession. Wolford, after that quick blow, will hurry back onto the floor in place of Addison Briner. So both coaches electing to go when they sub, kind of those quick, quick sit, quick burst back in substitutions. Here's Hillard out between the circles on the dribble. Hillard over to the right. Hillard moves to the point when Kelsey Bum sits. Mira McGee inside, back out. Hillard attacks the rim, lays it up and in. There's that quickness of Aaliyah Hillard as she gets to the iron and finishes. And it's 12-5 Montpelier. Backdoor cut and Wolford unable to reel it in from the pass of Nevaeh Smith. That's four bomber turnovers in quarter number one, almost matching the point total. 12-5 Montpelier. J.D. Reeves brings it in to Hillard. Hillard, middle of the floor in the backcourt. Bounce pass to the midcourt. It's broken up by Eden as they force the first Montpelier turnover. Wolford's pass over to the right side to Jenna Ripke. Ripke, back for Smith, broken up by Zoe Uribe's, who had dropped down 
and tapped it out of bounds. This will be Jason Craven on the inbounds now. 114 left in the quarter. 12-5 Montpelier on the Andres O'Neill and Low scoreboard. He comes into Grace Ripke. Back now to Craven. Set play for three. No. Long rebound belongs to Montpelier. And a jump ball. And the possession arrow will go Eden's way. Bringing it in will be Craven on the baseline. Craven searching. Comes left wing. Catch and release. Three. Ripke no good. That was Jenna Ripke. And off the deflection, it'll go out of bounds and belong to the Locos. Exactly a minute to play. End of one. Patrick Henry 15. McComb 14. Girls hoops. End of one. Striker 14. Fayette 4. Boys basketball. Delta Dusting Jones Leadership Academy 17 to 2. Montpelier commits their second turnover and Eden gives it right back. So five turnovers for Eden, two for Montpelier as Bum replaces Hillard with 48 ticks on the clock. Eden again with a little more extending of the pressure. Started off half court, now it's more three-quarter to full court. Up ahead, Zoe Uribe's down low for McGee. Great catch in traffic, layup no good. Rebound Wolford, who is going to be fouled from behind. Strong rebound on the interior by Natalie Wolford. Montpelier, again, a good job of dicing through the pressure and had a layup, just didn't get a good enough angle to lay it home. And on the Wolford rebound, that'll draw the foul on Mira McGee, her first, team second of the quarter, and Nevaeh Smith immediately gives it right back. 28 seconds to play in the first. 12-5 Montpelier. Girls halftime score, Tenora 27, Defiance 13. Or 15, I beg your pardon. Girls final, Holgate 33, North Baltimore 14. 28 seconds left here in our first quarter of play. It's 12-5 Montpelier. They're enjoying their biggest lead. Mahan down on the square. Mahan traveled with it, going to a spin for a third Montpelier turnover. Three for Montpelier, six for Eden in this first period. And Eden will have another shot at it as Montpelier. Both teams challenging each other's guards here with some full court pressure of some kind. Mahan on Craven. Craven across the timeline. 12 to shoot. Craven on the right point. Top of the circle. Pick and roll into Briner. Fouled on the way up. That'll be number two on Mahan. And Addison Briner returns to the free throw line. She's 0 for 2 tonight. 5.8 5.8 remaining, quarter number one, 12-5, Montpelier with the lead. Halftime, Liberty Benton 21, OG 20 in that big girls collision. Briner unable to cash in on the first free throw. She'll take one more. Montpelier enjoying its biggest lead of the night right now. Second one, no good. Rebound, saved by... Uribe's to bum. One second up ahead, not going to get a shot away. That'll do it for the first quarter of basketball. Montpelier leading Eden 12-5 on B-Rock Sports. The weather is turning the corner, and it's a great time to freshen up the outside of your home with Clark and Kensington Paint from Donaldson's Ace Hardware on North Union Street in Bryan. You'll find all you need at Donaldson's from brushes and rollers to the best paint on the market. Clark and Kensington, it's ultra durable, resists cracking, peeling, and flaking, provides a mold and mildew resistant finish with VOC, and it can be applied in temperatures as low as 35 degrees. So finish up your painting projects with paint from Donaldson's Ace Hardware in Bryan. Ace, the helpful place. Are you craving mouth-watering subs, delectable pizza, and fresh salads? Look no further than Iker Subs in downtown Montpelier, your go-to destination for a flavor-packed experience. Iker Subs has been serving the community for an incredible 50 years with deliciousness in every bite. And it's no wonder with their commitment to quality and taste, they become the local favorite. Open Wednesday through Friday, 11 to 9, and Saturday from 2 to 9. Call 419-485-1678 and order your hearty sub, cheesy pizza, or refreshing salad. Ikers has something for everyone. Iker Subs in downtown Montpelier, where tradition meets flavor. 
First quarter complete. All Montpelier up 12 to 5. Montpelier shot 5 of 12 and 2 of 3 from the three point line. Eden just 2 of 9, 1 for 4 from 3. Eden doubled the turnover, 6 to Montpelier's 3. Rebounds were even at 8. Neither team hit a free throw in that first quarter. Eden was 0 for 4. Montpelier 0 for 1. Montpelier basketball. Kelsey Bum on the wing. Now to the baseline. Little hand check foul called on Jenna Ripke, which will be her first. It's Jenna Ripke, Grace Ripke, Addison Briner, Jason Craven, and Natalie Wolford for Eden. Montpelier counters with Aaliyah Hillard, Mira McGee, Madeline Hopper, Kelsey Bum, and Zoe Uribes, which is a set play for Uribes. Rainbow three is no good from the baseline on the right side and out of bounds off Eden. So Montpelier keeps it. Just underway, quarter number two on a Tuesday night. Non-conference basketball in the BBC. Three and one. The pass is deflected as it was coming in. Zoe Uribe's Wolford with a big block of that. And then the loose ball dug out by Eden to force the fourth Montpelier turnover. Craven, though, gave it right back as she tried to go to the post and threw that one in the arms of Hopper. Left to right come the Lady Locos. Montpelier three and one. Eden one and five. Here's Hillard, top the key. High left now to Bum. Bum with a basketball. Bum one-on-one on that far side with Jenna Ribke. Back out in front, Zoe Reeves. Now right point to Hillard. Hillard gives to Bum. Back to Hillard. Hillard against a 1-3-1 look from, zone, from a zone. Jumper for three, no good from McGee. And the rebound is going to ball along eventually to Eden. Here's Jenna Ripke, far side. Picks her dribble up, gives it up now to Jason Craven. Craven between the circles. Craven over to the right wing now to Grace Ripke. Ripke gets a screen. Ripke circles and a hand check on Zoe Uribes. That'll be her first. Mahan has two from Montpelier. She's the only one in any kind of foul difficulty. Smith back on the floor for Eden for Jason Craven. 6.37 to play, first half, 12-5, Montpelier on the inbounds. Kelsey Bum returns the favor to Natalie Wolford, who got that swat right back out of bounds. Bum did the same thing there. At that dead ball, it'll be Jada Uribes for Zoe Uribes. Smith again. Another deflection, loose basketball. Wolford hustles to get it. Around to Jenna Ripke, down low to Briner. Up no good, gliding to the basket. And the defensive rebound to McGee and Montpelier. Far sideline now Bum. Crossing into the half court. Zips it cross court to McGee, who gives now to Uribes. Uribes, spin, dish back to McGee. Out in front now to Hillard. Hillard to the basket. Shot is blocked by Grace Ripke. And the rebound to Eden. Here comes Nevea Smith. Smith in transition. Grace Ripke, long two. Jump shot on the way, no good. Held ball on the jump ball, or held ball on the rebound, and the arrow favors Eden. Checking in, Maddie Ogden for Eden for the first time tonight. Got some limited minutes earlier. North Central's defeated Camden, 34-24. That was in girls' basketball as North Central collects their first win of the year. Here's Jenna Ripke, top the circle. Over the left side of the baseline. Drops it down low for Ogden. Rebound, or the uh, the uh, ball was almost taken away. The save went into the hands of Nevea Smith. So Eden dodges a turnover, and then they get a layup out of it for the first points of this second quarter for either team. 12-7, Montpelier. Lady Loco basketball. 5.35 to go in the half. Eden's led, or I'm sorry, Montpelier's led by as many as seven. Little two-man game far side. Hopper a kick out. Uribe's for three in and out. No good. Offensive rebound, though, to Montpelier, and they'll reset. Good board by Hopper. Now Uribe's tried to spin away from Smith in that on that side of the zone. Dropped to McGee. Back out in front. Uribe's tries again for three, and another misfire. Ogden the rebound. Fayette. And Stryker, 24-18. Stryker with the lead approaching halftime there in that non-conference game. We have a combination girls-boys games going on tonight. Eden ball here in girls' hoops. Here's Wolford to the basket, lays it home. Great attack, and Mike Bum wants a timeout. 4.51 to play, first half of basketball. Eden with the first four of the second quarter. They've sliced into the game. It's 12-9, Montpelier. 
Be part of the Montpelier Athletic Boosters and help support all the athletes at the Montpelier schools by calling 419-485-6785. The Montpelier Athletic Boosters would like to wish all the Montpelier athletes good luck in today's game. Strive to be the best and you will succeed at everything you do. The Montpelier Boosters are proud of all your achievements. Good luck and do your best. That's all anyone can ask. And go Locos! Welcome back to Eden. Andy Briggle with you here on a Tuesday night. It is Eden and Montpelier. Lady Locos on top in this one, 12 to 9. Montpelier has led since the opening tip. They scored the game's first four, eventually built their lead to seven at one time, and that was at the end of one, 12-5. Montpelier is yet to score here in this second quarter. Mike Bum did not like the look of things there, so he spent a timeout. He'll send Hopper. Uribe's, Uribe's, Mahan, and Bum onto the floor. Eden will counter with Craven, Smith, Ripke, and that's Jenna, Ogden, and Wolford. Kayla Walker electing to go with her a couple of her bigs now, so a bigger lineup on the floor. Montpelier has maybe a dash of quickness advantage on Eden now. Uh, near, it will be an Eden, or an Eden forced turnover of Montpelier, and that drives... A basketball coach, absolutely bananas. You take a timeout, you have something, you talk about it, and then you turn it over right out of the break, out of that turnover, out of that timeout. Five turnovers now for Montpelier in the first half, six for Eden. Check that seven for Eden. Here's Smith between the circles, coming over to the high left side on the dribble. Montpelier has been manned throughout. Smith working back to the right to Craven. Coming down near the midway point of quarter number two, 12-9 Montpelier lead. Craven sizing up Montpelier's man-to-man. A lot of standing right now. Not a lot of movement. And now Craven picks her dribble up, and Bum hawking the basketball gets the steal. She hurdles a teammate and now gets down the floor in transition, but Eden's back. Here's Uribe's. Jada spins, drives, and is hammered on her way to the goal and will shoot two. Good take by Jada Uribe's. Craig Dravis says the foul is on Maddie Ogden her first of the night, and that will put J.D. Uribe's on the line. 57% free throw shooter on the season. 14 and a half points, four and a half rebounds a game. Couple of assists thrown in there. Uribe's knocks home the first one, and that's the first Montpelier point of the second quarter. Ogden out, Briner back in. 13 to nine, Montpelier in front. 3.55 3.55 to play, first half, two for two for J.D. Uribe, seven for her to lead all scorers, 14-9 to nine now. Here's Craven, backcourt, Smith was moving up the floor, Craven had already released the basketball, and it's another Eden giveaway, they're going to get to double figures, it appears, in turnovers here in the first half, they're at nine, still 3.45 to play in the half, Bum comes over to Mahan, picks her dribble up, Sends it left side to Zoe Uribe's. High post to Jada Uribe's. Jada back to Zoe Uribe's. Now into the hands of Mahan. Mahan. Eden has gone man. Ball is deflected away from Uribe's and dug out nicely by Eden. Here comes Craven in transition. Craven over to the right side on the wing. Post entry to Smith, and she missed it from in close. Eden with an offensive rebound, though. Wolford back out. Craven's jumper for three, no good. And now we're going to get an offensive foul called on the interior on Eden. And that foul will be on Addison Briner, her first of the night. Nevaeh Smith, I think, on the inside on that last take may have caught a little shrapnel from uh, the drive. Is okay, though, now. With it and into the hands of Mahan. Delta leads Jones Academy 37-4. Jump shot on the way is no good. And the rebound goes to Eden. Montpelier now 0 for 6 from the field here in this second quarter. But still maintaining a 14-9 lead. Craven out in front. 2.40 to go in this first half. Now it's Smith. Smith between the circles. Closing out on her is Kelsey Baum. Smith goes right side to Craven. Now out on top, Briner's jumper rattles home for a long two. Addison Briner, first basket of the ball game. And now Eden gets the steal. Craven with the quick hands. 
And Eden gives it right back, though, as Smith saw it deflected away. Up ahead now to Hopper. Touch pass intercepted nicely by Wolford, who is then knocked to the deck. And it'll be a Montpelier foul. If it's Mahan, it'll be her third of the first half. And it is. Nobody has been to the five fouls yet. And I know, feel like we're doing the reminder thing every game, but it's still a new and fresh new rule. We want to make sure everybody knows no more one and ones no more seven fouls. It's five per quarter, and then everything resets, and all the fouls then are two-shot fouls. So three in this quarter on Eden, two on Montpelier. Here's Wolford. Extra pass into Briner, lays it home. Great teamwork that time by the Lady Bombers. Natalie Wolford, very unselfish, and Eden has cut it to one. And now Hillard in trouble, and Mike Bum knows it and takes a timeout. 1.53 to go, first half, 14-13. Montpelier in front on B-Rock Sports. You work hard for your money. That's why we see to it that your money works hard for you, not someone else. At Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, our earnings belong to our members and go right back to work for you, from better rates to lower fees. We've got the products and people to help you build a more fantastic future every step of the way. Join 14,000 other people just like you who want to do more with their money. Imagine a different possibility at Midwest Community Federal Credit Union. Back out here in Eden, a buck 53 to play here in this first half of basketball. Eden has held Montpelier without a field goal. Montpelier clinging to a 14-13 lead. Mike Bum's had to burn a couple of timeouts here in this second quarter. Bum out of a timeout with it. Kelsey Bum up ahead to Hopper on the baseline. Rotates it out in front to Hillard. Back to Bum. Wing jumper. It's a long one. The three. Flips over the rim, hits the top of the backboard, and will go back to Eden. And now the Bombers will play for their first lead of the night. They've trailed by as many as seven. They're on an 8-2 to two run right now after being down 12-5 at the end of one quarter. The two points in this second quarter, J.D. Reby's free throws. Pass from Ripke broken up by Montpelier and forcing the turnover. That is 11 giveaways by Eden. Montpelier has eight. Here's Hillard on the take and the finish, and there's their first field goal with a minute 20 to go in the first half. Aaliyah Hillard is just, you make her shoot jump shots. You do not want her and that quickness getting to the backboard. She's quicker than most teams or most kids that Montpelier plays regardless of division. State qualifier in track. Down low, Wolford got great position. Up and under, muscles it home. Another two and a chance at three. Another good find of the post that time. And now Natalie Wolford, who scores 12 and grabs five boards a game, a 54% free throw shooter with a chance to tie it for the first time here tonight. We have never been tied in this one. And again, as we said, Eden has never led. Wolford shooting for seven, knocks it down, and we have our first tie of the evening. Under a minute to play in the first half. 16-16, Montpelier and Eden. Trap on J.D. Reeves. She dumps it to Bum, into the lane. Bounce pass to McGee. Up with a shot, no good. Attacking the rim. Defensive rebound to Briner for Eden. Outlet now to Wolford. Wolford a one-on-one to the basket. Lays it up and in, and Eden has their first lead of the night. Eden has hit on their last four field goals now. And it's 18-16, Eden. Here's Uribe's. And to Zoe Uribe's. Good look up the floor that time by Jada in the press breaker. Jada Uribe's to Zoe Uribe's. And we're tied at 18. Short-lived lead. Grace Ripke down low to Briner. Up and under for two for Addison Briner. And now trading baskets. Final 10 seconds of the first quarter. Or first half, 20 to 18. And stepping out of bounds was Kelsey Baum on the dribble drive. Six second quarter turnovers for Montpelier. Helping to close this gap. Baseball pass up to midcourt. Here's Briner. One-on-one with Zoe Uribe's. The leaner no good, but Zoe Uribe's called for her second foul. And with two seconds to play in the half, Addison Briner will return to the free throw line. Shooting two here. 20-18 to Eden. And a chance to add to it just before intermission. Briner circles that one in. One more to come. 
21-18 Eden. Second offering is good. Two for two. Here comes Bum from just beyond midcourt is no good. And that'll do it for the first half of basketball. A change in fortunes from first quarter to second quarter as Eden outscores Montpelier 17 to 6 in the second. We go to the main stops halftime show. Eden 22, Montpelier 18 here on B-Rock Sports. Camco Industries, with facilities located in West Unity, Ohio and Marincy, Michigan, has openings on all three shifts for production and assembly operators. We manufacture interior plastic products for the automotive industry. As an operator, you will be required to visually inspect, trim, assemble, and pack parts, as well as label containers. You must be able to pass an entry-level test and a substance abuse test. Camco also has openings for shipping associates, material handlers, and production leads. Camco offers a complete benefit package, along with a bonus for the successful completion of probationary status, an attendance bonus, and a referral bonus. If you would like to join our team, please complete an application online at www.kumi-na.com or in person at Camco, 1001 East Jackson Street, West Unity, Ohio, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All rehires will be considered for employment. Pelts Lumber Company in Montpelier and Pioneer has some exciting news. Not only has Pelts been bringing you the finest in building materials for generations, now they have a new website with a huge selection of items for you to browse right at your fingertips and in your own home. Just go to PeltzLumber.com and hit the products button. And there it is. Tools, hardware, lumber yard and building materials, windows, doors, kitchen and bath. Check out the items you need and the prices and stop by the store in Montpelier or Pioneer or give them a call at 419-485-3059. Pelts Lumber, building for a new generation. Unwrap adventure at Knocking Point Outfitters. Gift cards and Scent Crusher brand products, the perfect pair for outdoor enthusiasts. Located on County Road 17, just south of U.S. Route 6, outside of Bryan, Knocking Point Outfitters, where the journey begins. Your home is the one place where everything should be perfect, including your air. Starks Plumbing and Heating Services helps you achieve the perfect air you deserve with reliable, groundbreaking, award-winning Lennox products. Call Starks plumbing and heating services and see how soon you can get a Lennox home comfort system that'll help improve your health and your mood. It doesn't get any more perfect than that. Call us today at 1-800-329-4040 or visit us at StarksPHS.com. Welcome back to Eden. We're at halftime here between Eden and Montpelier, the main stops of Northwest Ohio. Halftime show. Let's dive into some first half statistics with the Bombers on top 22 to 18 at the intermission. Individually for Eden, Natalie Wolford leads the way with nine. Addison Briner with eight. Jason Craven with three. And Nevaeh Smith with two for a total of 22. For Montpelier, J.D. Uribe's has seven. Aliyah Hillard with four. Kelsey Bum with three. Zoe Uribe's with two. And Madeline Hopper with two for the total of 18. Shooting the basketball in that first half. Eden closed by making their final five shots. Up until that point, they had been three for their first three for their first 14. They end the half eight of 19 from the field, one of four from the three-point line. Montpelier went stone cold in that second quarter. They were just two of 11 from the field, 0 for six from the three-point line. So seven of 23 for the first half for Montpelier, two of nine shooting threes. At the foul line, Eden was three for seven. Montpelier was two for two. Rebounds were close. Eden uh, grabbed control of the glass, though, in the second quarter. Montpelier only two rebounds in that second quarter. Overall, Eden with a rebounding edge of 14 to 10. Turnovers too much of a problem for both teams. Nine first-half turnovers for Montpelier, six of them in that second quarter. Uh, Eden committed 11, and they were equal opportunity offenders by quarter. Six in the first, five in the second. All of that has led to our halftime score of 22 to 18. Eden in front. Our halftime show being brought to you by the main stops 
of Northwest Ohio. Always open when you need them. The main stops of Northwest Ohio. Girls hoops end of three. Liberty Benton 31. Ottawa Glandorf 27 in girls high school basketball. Quick reminder, we'll be back here in Eden on Friday night for Hilltop at Eden in uh, non-conference play. And then Saturday, boys basketball and back to our normal uh, start time on uh, Saturday evening. Remember, we had an earlier start time for Montpelier Delta this past Saturday. Back to the normal start time, 6 o'clock JV. It'll be Brian at Defiance Saturday night on B-Rock Sports. Then a pair of games next week, both of them boys' games. Edgerton at Stryker on Tuesday of next week. That's the 19th. And then our final game before Christmas will be Thursday, the 21st, North Central at Montpelier in boys' basketball. And, and then after the uh, Christmas break, the State Route 49 Classic here on B-Rock. We'll have that for you this year from Hicksville. It'll be Eden Edgerton on the opening night in the opening game, followed by Antwerp and Hicksville. Halftime here in girls' hoops, 22-18, to 18, Eden in front. More to come on the Main Stops Halftime Show in just a moment. Precise Metal Form, 810 Commerce Drive in Bryan, wants to say good luck to the Eden Bombers in tonight's athletic contest. Precise Metal Form is a proud supporter of Eden Bomber Athletics, both boys and girls sports. Precise Metal Form in Bryan, saluting the athletes on all of their hard work and wishing them the best of luck in this athletic contest. Precise Metal Form, 810 Commerce Drive in Bryan, saying go Bombers in the this game. Fall is a great time to work on your home. Is your home well insulated? Field Supply Center in Blakesley is now stocking the Attic Cat and the Pro Cat Blown Insulation System. Forget about the dust from the old blown insulation. Attic Cat is the new clean way to insulate your walls and attic. Field Supply Center also offers certain teed landmark shingles, one of the best shingles for your roof. Now is the time to take care of your home. Whether you need insulation, shingles, siding, or window, make Field Supply in Blakesley your first stop. The more your life changes, the more your insurance needs change. See Danielle Van Atta of Danielle Van Atta Agency today. She can conduct a free personal insurance review to help you determine how much and what type of coverage is right for you with no costly gaps or overlaps. Interested? Phone Danielle Van Atta today at 419-636-0408. Welcome back to Eden. Our halftime show has been brought to you by the main stops of Northwest Ohio. Always open when you need them. And don't forget about Thirsty Thursday, 79 cent drinks every Thursday at the main stops of Northwest Ohio. One more game for Eden this week. As we mentioned, we'll be here for it. They're in the middle of a stretch of home games because the girls 49 classic is in Eden this season. Uh, so after tonight, the home game with Hilltop, and then the two right before Christmas, December 21st, Eden will face Edgerton, and then, of course, championship night will be on December 22nd. And then one more game, which is also going to be at home, it'll be a game against Eastside, Indiana, on December the 30th. That Montpelier game that we talked earlier about that will be for, or we will be back for, will be in Montpelier in a league game. That's on January 5th. For Montpelier, before the year ends... Uh, they will travel to Paulding this Saturday afternoon for a girls' matchup and then host Pettisville on December 22nd. That is a Friday night before uh, heading off to the holiday tournament in Bryan, the Lady Bears Holiday Classic. And those will be their final four games here in uh, the 2023 portion of the schedule. Montpelier comes in at 3-1 and one on the year. Eden Checks in at 1 and 5, but Eden had some moments there, particularly the way they ended the first half where they did not look like a 1 and 5 team uh, here in uh, high school girls basketball. So some flashes, and that's been that way, I think, for Eden, maybe with the exception of the Ayersville game. And as we said, Ayersville, very, very good basketball team in girls' hoops in our area, perhaps the favorite to come out of the district in Division Four this year. Uh, so no shame in that. But every other Eden game has been close this year. Meanwhile, as far as Montpelier is concerned, and they're 3-1, and one, blowout win over Hilltop, uh, battled with Edgerton, won that by 11, blowout win over Fayette, and a close loss at Delta uh, last week. So teams back out of the locker room, about ready to head onto the floor with Eden holding to a 22-18 to 18 advantage here on a Tuesday night. 
Happy to have you with us. Suzanne Holliball will be back with me here in Eden on Friday night. Montpelier will send out Madeline Hopper, Mira McGee, Aliyah Hillard, Kelsey Bum, and J.D. Uribe. They're starting five. Eden will counter with their original five of Jason Craven, Natalie Wolford, Grayson Jenna Ripke, and Addison Briner. It'll be Montpelier ball, far side at midcourt. Dan Carnahan will put it into play. And it'll be tossed in now, Bum to Uribe's. Near side to Hillard. Between the circles to Kelsey Bum. High on the right now to Mira McGee. McGee to the baseline to Bum. 3-2 look defensively. Now to the post to Hopper, who lost the handle out of bounds and fumbled it away for the first turnover of this second half. Turnover number 10 for the game for Montpelier. Here's Craven and Eden with their first offensive touch of the second half. Now it's Grace Ripke across the timeline. Middle of the floor to Craven. Craven. Montpelier man-to-man. Over to the left side on the wing to Wolford. Popping out high now. Jenna Ripke bounce pass right side to Craven. They wait for the low post interchange. And Uribe is a little slow in denying the post. Wolford picks up her first foul. So as we begin the second half, Mayhem with three. Zoe Uribe is with two for Montpelier. Nobody from Eden with Two fouls or more. Craven inbounds pass right side now to Ripke. Grace Ripke to the post to Wolford. Wanted a drop step. Turns instead of to the paint. Turns baseline and splashes it home for the first two of the second half. And Eden builds on their lead at 24-18 now. Wolford with 13 to lead all scorers. Baseline Hillard tosses it to Bum above the foul line. Now gliding into the painted area is Hammered. And two free throws for Kelsey Bum. That personal foul will be Jenna Ripke's second. Bum's first trip to the line happening right now. First trip to the line tonight. 75% free throw shooter. 12 points, three and a half rebounds, couple of assists a game. And bottoms the first foul shot to give her four on the night. Nevaeh Smith in for Jenna Ripke. 24-19, Eden. Minute gone by here in the third quarter of play. Second one is short. Offensive rebound, though, goes to Hopper, and she is going to be fouled as she twirls toward the basket. And two shots for Madeline Hopper, who's 0 for 1 at the foul line tonight. That foul will be the second of the evening on Natalie Wolford. Hopper, long on the first free throw. This is an area of improvement that both these teams need as the season goes on. Good basketball teams, you want uh, 75% or above at the foul line. Those are really good basketball teams. Miss both of them did Hopper. Defensive rebound to Eden and Wolford, and then it's turned over by Eden. Bum, who got it, now it's Uribe's who gives right back to Bum. Now to Hillard. Hillard, left foul line extended, shuffles it back out in front to Bum. 24-19, Eden on the Andres O'Neill and Low scoreboard. Hillard. Far side, out high to Bum. Bum at the volleyball line, out of the top of the circle. Comes back to Hillard in this 3-2 look defensively. We've seen Eden a little 2-3. A smattering of a 1-3-1. Or it was a disguised 3-2. Out in front now, Hillard. Ball movement around to the high right side to Bum. Bum's pass deflected by Craven and turned over to Craven. Ahead to Gripke. And she's fouled by Aaliyah Hillard. That'll be her first of the evening, and Grace Ripke will shoot a pair. 11 turnovers now for Montpelier. 12 on the night for Eden. I'm sure that was a point of emphasis from both coaches to clean that up here in the second half. 25-19. Montpelier's biggest lead has been 7. Eden's biggest lead right now at 6. Short on the free throw. Offensive rebound, Briner for Eden. Squeezes through a double team and a foul called going to the basket as Addison Briner will shoot two. That foul will be J.D. Uribe second. Eden getting to the offensive glass there. And it's Briner back to the line. She's two for six at the line tonight. Third foul, beg your pardon on Uribe's. I missed one in the first half. I stand corrected. Three now on J.D. Uribe's, and that's a big one. Briner's first one is no good. 
Second one, airborne. That one's long. Another offensive rebound, though, Nevaeh Smith. She attacks, can't finish. Rebound deflected out of bounds, and it will belong to Montpelier. And here comes Zoe Uribe's, probably for J.D. Uribe. Still 6.03 to play. Nope, it'll be for Hopper. They're going to trust J.D. Uribe's with the three fouls. 6.03 still to play in the third, so a long time to go here and dodge some bullets, potentially. Bum, jump pass ahead to Hillard. Hillard jump stop on the elbow. Now to Jada Uribe's. Uribe's out in front to Bum. Shot fake. Dribble drive. A hold on that dribble drive. Foul is on Grace Ripke for Eden. Number one on her. We may turn this quarter into a free throw shooting contest. Yeah, that's three fouls on both teams. Just barely over. So six fouls called in two minutes and 12 seconds. Here's Baum, a deep three, nothing but nylon. Kelsey Baum drills the triple, and that cuts the Eden lead in half. 25-22 Eden. Up ahead now, Grace Ripke jumps, uh, dumps it off down to the baseline to Briner. Lost her footing and then tried to shovel it out to a teammate, turned over. Baum one-on-one with Smith, going that right at her and flips it in. And the lead is down to one. Kelsey Baum, the last five. That'll give her nine on the night, and it's 25-24 Eden. A reach and a foul is going to be called on Aaliyah Hillard. Hillard gets her second foul, team's fourth. 25-24 Eden, 5.09 to play, third quarter. Inbounds comes Grace Ripke. Ripke between the circles, Eden left to right. Ripke. Snaps it over to the left side to Smith. Smith on the wing. Gets a high ball screen. Circles on the dribble. Hands it now to Craven. Craven gets a screen from Reiner and then wanted a diagonal backdoor cut. It's intercepted and turned over by Eden. 14 turnovers on the night for Eden. Three in this quarter. Here's J.D. Uribe's Tamira McGee. Alone for a jumper. Short, no good. That was a long two. And Eden collects the board. They've doubled up Montpelier on the backboard here in this second or third quarter, four to two. Four and a half to play in the third. 25-24, Eden with a lead. Here's Briner, has a clear out and has a mismatch height-wise with Zoe Uribe's, but Uribe's did a good job staying in front. Now Grace Ripke bangs her way to the glass, no good. Rebound put back, though, is good. Good follow that time by Briner to crash the glass and lay it in. Board showing her with eight, but she actually has ten on the night, and the lead is 27-24 as Kelsey Baum lost the handle out of bounds. A third, third-quarter turnover for Montpelier now to give them a dozen. Mahan back in for Montpelier for Zoe Uribe's. Midway through this third, 27-24, Eden in front. Delta has won over Jones Academy, 59-16. So Delta early on stays unbeaten after a 17 and five year a season ago. Top of the key with the basketball, Craven. To the elbow to Grace Ripke, didn't handle it cleanly. Loose ball to Briner. Briner along the baseline, double team, tried to pass out of it and just as one was being delivered, Kayla Walker saw she was surrounded and takes a timeout. 3.37 left in the third, 27-24 Eden back in 30. Veland Chase wishes local high school sports teams a successful season. As one of the leading brass suppliers in the United States, Veland Chase manufactures brass rods, forgings, ingots, and water armor plumbing fittings at the two plants located in Holiday City. To learn more about products and job opportunities, visit brassjobs.com. Chase a brighter future with Veland Chase. <laughs> 3.37 to play. By the way, three timeouts left unofficially for Montpelier. Four remain for Eden in this still, what, 11 and a half minutes to play in this game. Three and a half here and then a full fourth quarter. 27-24. Eden in front. Basketball to the Bombers. Craven into Smith. Smith attacking the paint. Little three-footer rolls it home. Nevaeh Smith, second basket of the night for her. 29-24 Eden. Here's Uribe's in the backcourt. J.D. Uribe's on the bounce over to the right side. Away from a double team. Slicing through a, more bodies and then throws it way too tall. 
for Hillard, and it sails out of bounds. That will be the 13th Montpelier giveaway of the night. 29-24, it remains Eden. 3-10 to go, third quarter. Here's Craven. OG 39, Liberty Benton 35 in that girls showdown with a minute and change to play. Here's Smith on the baseline. Smith rotates it out in front, now to Craven, double dribble. That's 15 giveaways for Eden now on the night. Both teams utilizing dead balls, made baskets or whatever to apply their form of some full court pressure. Kelsey Bum up ahead for Hillard. Hillard rotates it back out to Bum. Bum between the circles. Now Bum hands to Hillard. Bum going to go into that corner far side. Hillard gives to Uribe's. Uribe's top of the circle. Hands now to Mahan. Now it comes to Mira McGee. Bounce pass to J.D. Reeves. Flips it back out to Bum. Two and a half to go in the third. 29-24 Eden. Montpelier basketball. Here's Kelsey Bum. Five in this quarter. Works into the lane. A hand check foul on Briner. That's four on Eden team-wise. Two on Briner. So with 2.22 left in the third, both teams will be going to the line shooting two for the remainder of this third quarter on fouls called. Uribe sends it in to Bum out in front. Back to Uribe's on the wing left side. Uribe's into the lane. The runner, good. Jada Uribe's rattles home two. Now Montpelier's three for four in this quarter, but they have four turnovers. Two minutes to play in it. It's a 29 to 28 advantage. Eden in front with 150. Briner back door. Grace Ripke wide open lays it home. That's the fourth make of the quarter for the Lady Bombers. And a near turnover force by Craven. Bum up ahead now to Hillard. Hillard on the wing. Rotates it out in front now to Uribe's. Uribe's spin move. Into the corner, jumper for three. Good! Kelsey Bum from downtown. Her second three of the quarter, her third three of the game, and we're tied at 31. A dozen for Kelsey Bum. Jason Craven angling right. Craven on a crossover. Down low to Wolford. Stumble and a foul on Uribe's. And Jada Uribe's now has four personals. With 1.12 to play in the third, Madeline Hopper will have to come get her. And a two-shot opportunity here for Natalie Wolford. Wolford one for one on the game at the line, short on the first one. They've corrected that. I thought we had the wrong score up there. I, apologies. I went by the board and shouldn't have. It is 32-29 now after Wolford hits the free throw. So Montpelier's at 29 with just over a minute to play. Eden holding to the three-point lead. A travel now on Mira McGee. That'll be the fifth turnover of this quarter. Montpelier, both teams at times when they've turned it over, when they've turned it over, they have had, it's almost as if they've it's been rushed and and kind of out of sorts. I know the other team's defense having something to say about it as well as Eden spreads the floor, but some forced giveaways as well, even with the pressure. Both teams need to just settle in. Back cut into Briner. Layup is good. Addison Briner from Jason Craven. And it's a five point Eden lead at 34 29. 35 seconds left here in this third quarter. Here's Mahan to Bum. Dribble drive and kick. McGee from downtown. Off the iron, no good. Long rebound to Eden. Here comes Craven in transition with 20 seconds. And a carry is called on Jason Craven. And that will send it back to Montpelier. They'll have one more chance. Zoe Uribe's to the table in place of Mira McGee. 20 seconds left. Quarter number three, 34-29 Eden. They've led by as many as six. Montpelier led early by as many as seven. Here's Mahan in the backcourt. 13 to shoot. 
Mahan all the way around to the wing, traveled with it, picked up that pivot foot and collects Montpelier's sixth turnover. 15 on Montpelier, 16 on Eden turnover-wise here. Late third quarter. Grace Ripke into the front court. Six to shoot. Five on the clock. Backside cut. Briner, good catch in traffic. Muscles it up and in. And that will wrap up the third quarter. Eden enjoying their largest lead of the night as we head to the fourth. 36-29 Bombers on B-Rock Sports. John Dye and everyone at Strong Real Estate in Montpelier would like to wish all the athletes in tonight's game good luck. Located right in the heart of Montpelier, Ohio, Strong Real Estate Solutions is successfully helping people find that perfect home, building lot, or commercial property. Strong Real Estate Associates are available to provide you with full service in all your real estate needs. Contact John Dye today at Strong Real Estate Solutions in Montpelier, Ohio. Hello, I'm Paul Rorick Jr. And I'm Sierra with the Fackler Monument Company in Montpelier, Ohio. Are you searching for a lasting memorial to honor your loved ones? Let us guide you through the entire process of choosing a memorial with compassion and care. Come visit our showroom. We have the largest indoor display in the tri-state area. Fackler Monument Company, where three generations of tradition and trust come together. Visit our website at facklermonument.com. We have been serving families in the tri-state area since 1924. <laughs> Boys basketball, Antwerp 37, Ottaville 34. End of three girls hoops, Tenora 39-27 over Defiance. And that OG final, uh, they defeat Liberty Benton 43-37. Ottawa Glandorf goes to 5-0 on the year. Here, we have three in the books. It's 36-29 Eden as they have their biggest lead. Pick and roll into Wolford who can't cash in. Loose basketball, jump ball. And that arrow will give it to Montpelier. In that quarter, Montpelier, solid. Three for six from the field, two for three from the three-point line. Eden was six of eight shooting the basketball in that third quarter to help them grab the lead. And they were able to get in the line and cash in there some. And a five, make it a ten-second count against Montpelier. So that will be turnover number 16 on the night. Coming in, Mike Bum sees no reason to keep J.D. Reeves on the bench anymore. Leading scorer, you got to get her back on the floor now. You have seven and a half minutes. You just have to trust her as she plays with four fouls. Nobody from Eden in any kind of foul difficulty. Four for Uribe's, three for Mahan for Montpelier as well. And Craven turning the corner, lost the handle out of bounds. Eden is, we've been there in this spot before. If you're an Eden fan, this movie has been shown a few times this year. Fourth quarter game, close basketball game, chances to close. Can they do it here? Uribe's lost the handle. Now bodies collide far side, and we're going to get a foul called on Natalie Wolford. She'll be the first Lady Bomber to get into foul trouble. It's her third personal. Mira McGee comes to get Zoe Uribe's for Montpelier. Far side, J.D. Uribe's to inbounds. Striker rallies to beat Fayette, 48-44, boys basketball. Here, we're just underway, girls hoops. 36-29, we're just underway in the fourth here in girls hoops. 36-29, Eden. Uribe's from downtown is short for three on the baseline. Grace Ripke, the rebound for Eden. Now it's Craven. Craven to midcourt and across. Craven angling left. Gets a high ball screen. Stop. Fire. Three. Short. Rebound McGee for Montpelier. And now Montpelier with numbers. Pillard up ahead to Uribe's, who's going to be hammered by Grace Ripke. Make her earn him at the line. Two shots here for J.D. Uribe's. It's a good foul. I think Mike Baum was angling for an intentional, but Ripke was going for the ball. It's just a hard foul. It's basketball. Nothing dirty. Two shots here for Uribe's. First one is airborne and good. J.D. Uribe's three for three at the foul line tonight. Joining Kelsey Bum now into double figures with ten. 
Jenna Ripke out. Nevaeh Smith back in for Eden. It's a 36-30 Eden lead. A lot of time remaining. 641 in regulation. Second one, also good by Uribe's. Montpelier will pick up the full court pressure. Smith picked up by Baum. Smith all the way to the far side, carried it, and turns it over. Tenora beats Defiance basketball, 48-37. They'll get third place in the Defiance Physical Therapy Classic. Tenora, or I'm sorry, uh, Ayersville and Archibald playing in the title game. J.D. Uribe's jump stop, baseline jump shot, no good for two. Offensive rebound, though, by Montpelier in a reboot here. 36-31 Eden, Montpelier ball. McGee, downtown, drills the three. Mira McGee, her first basket of the night. And that seven-point lead has been sliced to a pair. 36-34. Craven runs the baseline, gets it in and gets it right back. Up ahead now to Smith. Smith into the half court. Threw that one low at Briner. Good catch. Briner rotates it back out to Smith. And Eden will get into that half court. Oh, try to, but the deflection and near steal by Elia Hillard couldn't save it as she was going out of bounds. Inbounds coming for Craven, or trying to. Coming to get the ball is Wolfer. Double team, gives it up, Grace Ripke. Jump pass, broken up by Montpelier. Out of bounds off of Aaliyah Hillard. 5.57 left. 36-34 Eden on the Andres O'Neill and Lowe scoreboard. Craven on the baseline. Now they'll rotate it out in front. Grace Ripke back to Jason Craven. She has a three tonight. Craven bounce pass at Smith's knees, but Smith digs it out. Smith being ball pressured by Hopper. Smith going to the rim. The runner is short, and the rebound is to Eden. It's Briner who muscled it away, and she's going to go to the line. Who's that foul on? It will be Hopper. Madeline Hopper collecting the foul, her first. And Addison Briner to the free throw line. Foul shot number one, no good. Two point, again, uh, two point advantage for Eden at 36 34. Briner, one more opportunity here. Second one, short. Muscled for the rebound, out of bounds off of Wolford. And Eden will, again, like Montpelier, utilize a chance here to attack full court pressure. It's brought into J.D. Uribe's. Uribe's trap coming, spins away, triple team, jump pass ahead to Bum. Bum at midcourt, funnels it down to Bum, uh, McGee, who lays it in. Mira McGee, five in the quarter, back-to-back -back field goals, and we're deadlocked at 36. Montpelier is answered. Eden is answered tonight. Here comes Briner with a basketball. Briner over to the right side to Smith. Smith guarded by Uribe's who has the four fouls, remember. Now it's Craven into the lane. Bounce pass is going to be off of a heel of a Montpelier player and will roll out of bounds. Still Eden possession. 4.57 left in regulation. 36 apiece. Eden and Montpelier. Here's Wolford, a crossover. Wolford at the foul line, below. Rotates it out and eventually into Grace Ripke's hands out in front near midcourt. Bum coming out to challenge her. Ripke left side wing. Now gives it up to Nevaeh Smith. Smith all the way around to the rim and she'll lay it home. Nevaeh Smith gets Eden's first basket here of this fourth quarter. She has six on the night and they reclaim the lead. Here comes Hillard. Thought about attacking. Instead goes back out in front to Uribe's. Uribe's over to Bum. 38-36 Eden for the lead. Bum reigns in the three. Kelsey Bum with 15. Four from downtown. Four threes. And Montpelier seesaws back out in front. 39-38. It's Eden's turn to answer. Smith on the move, but lost the dribble off, to, off her foot and goes out of bounds. Third turnover of this fourth quarter. 19 on the night for Eden. 16 on the game, turnover-wise for Montpelier. 
Here's the inbounds to J.D. Uribe. Montpelier nursing a one-point lead. About ready to be halfway home here in the fourth. Uribe down low for Mahan, who can't catch it cleanly, was stumbling, and it's off her and out of bounds back to Eden. Eden has found some success. It's kind of been feast and famine with Eden's full-court pressure. Last couple of three trips and throughout the night, we've seen Montpelier beat it and score, and then we've also seen Eden turn Montpelier over tonight with that full-court pressure. Here's Craven above the volleyball line, right side to Grace Ripke. Ripke, foul line extended, 345 left, 39-38, Montpelier. Back down low, Wolford with a spin, contact, play on, shot no good. Rebound goes to Montpelier, and then Montpelier turns it away, scramble everywhere, and it's a loose basketball that Eden had as a three-on-one, tapped out of bounds. It'll be Eden possession. Here's Wolford for three. The rainbow is no good. And the rebound belongs to Montpelier. Coming out of the pack with it was Hillard. Hillard to midcourt and across. Hillard over to Mahan. Mahan swings it around. McGee feeling it. Jump shot, though, is short this time. The board to Briner for the Bombers. This possession going to get us to near three minutes. And a timeout. Kayla Walker and Eden. It's a full timeout, but we're only going to take a 30. 302 left. 39, 38. Montpelier back in a moment. This spring, pick your power. Steel fuel powered equipment delivers proven performance and efficiency. And the Steel Lightning Battery System delivers the power to do more on a single charge. Get the all new BGA45 battery powered blower for just $129.95. Or pick the popular MS170 chainsaw for just $179.95. Pick your power and then pick up a steel. All prices BES, SRP, at participating retailers. See Black Swamp Equipment or go to blackswampequipment.net. Andy Briggle back with you here. Let's get you a game reset. 3.02 remaining in regulation. 39-38. Montpelier with the lead. Both teams' biggest lead on the night has been seven. Foul situation. Two fouls on Eden in this fourth quarter. One on Montpelier, so we're nowhere, nowhere near it. As far as timeouts remaining, three apiece unofficially. PH has won in girls hoops tonight over Macomb, 49-39. Far side inbounds coming up here for Eden. Grace Ripke into Nevaeh Smith. Smith across midcourt against this Montpelier man-to-man. Over to the left side it goes and a moving screen is going to be called on Nevaeh Smith. That's just her first foul, but it's also a turnover and a critical one here in the fourth. Kelsey Bum has caught fire tonight. Bum, spin move across the timeline. Gives it up now to Uribes. Uribes has done a terrific job playing with four fouls most of the second half. Takes a long two, in and out, no good. Rebound put back, Hopper won't go. Scramble for the rebound, Smith has it, and as she brought it down, Montpelier was trying to dig it out, and a foul is going to be called on Kelsey Bum. That's just her first of the basketball game. Team second, 2.32 remaining. We talked about free throws and how both these teams need to improve. You just get that feeling. Free throws are going to come into play here at the end. Uribe's tapped it away from Wolford out of bounds. It'll be on the sideline to Eden. Jason Craven to inbounds. Stack from there, and they break in different directions. It comes into Jason Cra- or to Nevaeh Smith. Smith drops it for Briner, and it's going to be a foul on Montpelier. It'll be on Hopper, and it's out of bounds. It was in. It was a pass. Was not in the act of shooting. Three fouls apiece now. One more to give for both in this fourth quarter. Backside cut. Wolford open and lays it in. Natalie Wolford. And it's 40 to 39. Eden reclaims the lead. Hiller dribble drive hands now to McGee. McGee to Hopper. Top the circle. 205 left. 40 to 39 bombers. Going right side. All the way to the baseline. Uribe's pass wide of Hopper and turned over back to the Lady Bombers. With 159 to play. 40 to 39. Eden on the Andres O'Neill and Low scoreboard. 
Here's Nevaeh Smith in the backcourt. Smith to the timeline and across. Smith picked up by Bum, leaning on her defensively. Flips it over to the near side to Craven. Craven top the key. Now to Grace Ripke. 142 and rolling to play. In and out of the hands of Briner, but she goes and gets the loose ball. Briner circling right side all the way to the baseline. Backing in. Muscles it no good. On Hopper, the board to Montpelier. Hillard will bring it. She's into the half court. Hill the foul line. Now to Uribe's. Uribe's a lane to the basket, lays it in. Nobody turned the dribbler and nobody rotated to help. And it's Montpelier claiming the lead again. 41 40 Montpelier. 110 to play in regulation. Grace Ripke. Jason Craven. Craven. She wants to get to the iron but lost the dribble. Bounce pass into Wolford. Up and in for two. Both these teams answer for answer. And on the inbounds, Craven guilty of a reach. That's the last foul they had to give. It's only the first on Jason Craven. Remember, both teams, three timeouts remaining. 57 sevens, uh, 57.2 seconds left. 42-41 Eden. Flashing to come get it, J.D. Uribe's. Uribe's up the far sideline. Uribe's into the half court. Gives to Hopper. Hopper with 50 seconds to play. Now Kelsey Bum. Bum sees a lane. Nobody turns her, and the layup is good. Kelsey Bum, a two-point field goal. 43-42, Montpelier. 35 seconds remaining. Here's Craven into Wolford. No, but a foul. Natalie Wolford. Two free throws coming up. Who's the personal? It will be Jada Uribe's. Her night is done. She will lead with 13. So Jada Uribe's has fouled out with Montpelier up one and 33 seconds to play. This is essentially a chance to ice the free throw shooter too. You get X amount of time to sub in. Zoe Uribe's will come in for Jada Uribe's. Make Natalie Wolford think a little bit more about it. Wolford one for three at the line tonight. 54% on the season. Montpelier up one. Two shot foul here for Natalie Wolford. First one on the way is good. And we're deadlocked at 43. Again, 33 ticks of the clock. Wolford to shoot one more. Bends, sends, buries. Nothing but nylon. Eden up 44-43. Final half minute. Here comes Hiller. Gives it up to McGee. Into the lane. McGee buries it on a leader. Time out. Montpelier. Mira McGee have a fourth quarter. Seven for her. We're going to take a quick timeout. 45, 44, seven lead changes alone in this fourth quarter. Back for the, f actually, you know what? Let's stay here. It's a timeout, Montpelier. I thought we were going to go to a break, but no, we're going to stay here. 45, 44, Montpelier in front. 23.3 remaining. No more fouls to give for either team. Four on each. Two timeouts left for Montpelier. Three remain for Eden. So now, what will Montpelier do coming out of the break? They've been man all night. Does Mike Bum stay man? Dave Bauer is what Mike Bum refers to as his defensive coordinator. Do they maybe show a little zone this, this time that hasn't been seen all night or just go what got you there? Eden will send out Craven. Smith, Ripke, and that's Grace, Wolford, and Briner. It's McGee, Bum, Hillard, Hopper, Zoe Uribe's. Jenny Uribe's is fouled out. Montpelier waiting to pick up at midcourt. Here's Smith. Who's the first option for Eden? Trap on Smith was coming. She gets rid of it to Craven. You have to think Wolford or Briner on the squares. Craven around. Wants to go Wolford. Threw it on the wrong side. Loose basketball. Jump ball. And the arrow stays with Eden with 11 seconds to play. It'll be Jason Craven. Right now, Kayla Walker electing them to just let them play. No timeout taken. Craven into the corner to Wolford. Wolford with 10. With 9, it's stolen. Turned over to Zoe Uribe's. One-on-one -on -one block, but a foul from behind is also called on Grace Ripke. Four-point 
eight left. Critical turnover, Eden. Zoe Uribe's to the line. She's 50% on the season. She shoots a pair. 45-44, Montpelier trying to add to the lead. Zoe Uribe's to shoot two. Misses the first one. Eden has 4.8. Kayla Walker telling Dan Carnahan, if we get the rebound, I want a timeout is my guess. Or if it's made, I want a timeout. Second one. In and out and back in. And now Eden timeout. It's a full timeout. We're going to stay here. 4.8 left in this one. It is 46 44, Montpelier with the lead. Zoe Uribe's hitting one of two. So no foul. Montpelier can't give any fouls. So that comes out of play. It's a two-point game anyway, so you wouldn't be thinking about that unless it was a three-point game. Now, Montpelier's going to have some kind of pressure. You know that. They've been doing it all night long. And, and force Eden to get it up the floor as quickly as possible. Or, I mean, not in Eden wants to get it up the floor as quickly as possible. Montpelier is going to try to make them take as much time as possible and not get any kind of a good shot off. Eden's normal strategy would be to get one of the bigs on the blocks or in the paint, but in 4.8, I don't know, you're just going to have to take the best that's available as far as shots are concerned. Where is it going to come from? You almost feel like, unless they can get a baseball pass up the floor for a two, that the final shot is going to be a three. It will be Craven to throw it in. 46-44 Montpelier. 4.8 remaining in regulation. Montpelier picking up three-quarter court. Craven looks, gets it to Ripke. Back to Craven. Three. Two, one, half court try, short, ball game. Remember, Craven had a three-pointer that hit the heel of the backboard at Stryker a week ago, and this one was a little bit shorter. Back and forth all night long tonight, and Montpelier survives to get to four and one. We'll take a timeout. Final score, they took it off. 46-44? 46-44. Come on, Eden, keep that up there so at least I can see it more than seven seconds. Montpelier, I know, the home crowd, I get it. I should have jotted it down quicker. Montpelier hangs on. 46-44. The wrap-up when we come back. Hi, this is Russ Davies with Andrews O'Neill and Lowe Insurance Agency. Community means caring for the people we call neighbors and the places we call home. For the past hundred years, Andrews O'Neill and Lowe has been proud to do just that. In partnership with Central Insurance, we're honored by your trust in us to protect your family, assets, business, and everything that matters most to you. Thanks for being a part of our story. We've provided you peace of mind over the past century and look forward to doing the same for the next hundred years. Learn more at andrewsoneillandlowe.com. Are you in need of quality furniture and appliances? Look no further than Direct Link Appliance and Furniture. With Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid appliances, and now featuring Ashley Furniture and Jameson Mattresses, you'll find everything you need for your home. Plus, their trained technicians provide service on all makes and models of appliances. With unbeatable prices and impeccable customer service, Direct Link Appliance and Furniture is your one-stop shop for all your home needs. Don't wait. Shop Direct Link Appliance and Furniture today. I'm here at Fackler Monument in Montpelier. Ohio with Sierra and Paul Rory Jr., the new owners. But really, Paul, your family has been serving the area for a long time. That's right, Tim. We're the third generation and it all started with my grandpa George. Paul, many people are being cremated. Are there memorial options for cremation? Many people still choose a headstone in which the ashes are placed under the monument and sealed within the stone. There's cremation benches where the ashes are placed in the legs of the bench and there's also columbariums. So, Sierra, there are many shapes and styles to choose from, whether a traditional burial or cremation? That's right, and we understand that it can be a little overwhelming. That's why it's important to come talk to us so that we can guide you with our experience to help you pre-plan. Our experience team realizes that it's not easy to select a memorial in a time of sorrow, so we invite you to come visit with us as part of your pre-planning. Go online to FacklerMonument.com to see what we have to offer. The Fackler Monument Company of Montpelier, Ohio, serving families in the tri-state area since 1924. 
Always supporting student athletes and coaches in the Eden School District, the Eden Athletic Boosters. The Eden Athletic Boosters would like to take this opportunity to salute the student athletes and coaches in tonight's game. Hey, how would you like to be a part of the Eden Athletic Boosters? Come to a meeting and find out what they're all about. Maybe even volunteer at a concession stand. For more information, phone 419-272-3213. The Eden Athletic Boosters, supporting student athletes and coaches in Eden. Your friends at your neighborhood Eden Farmers Co-op Country Store would like to invite you to stop in at the Eden, Montpelier, and Edgerton stores to check out their complete line of pet supplies, animal feed, and outdoor products. Their friend knowledgeable staff is ready to answer all of your questions concerning their complete line of Kalmbach, Land O'Lakes, and much, much more. For your convenience, your purchase can be carried to your vehicle by one of their employees. Be sure to stop by soon and see them at your hometown country store, the Eden Farmers Co-op. Welcome back out here to Montpelier, or I'm sorry, back here to Eden where Montpelier has won on the road tonight, handing the Lady Bombers their sixth straight loss. Boy, some tough losses here for Eden in the early going. You have to feel so badly for the girls. They just have to keep grinding and keep finding a way and learn how to win, learn how to close out these close games. Montpelier found a way to do it tonight. Back and forth, we went seven lead changes in the fourth quarter alone as we seesawed back and forth tonight. A lot of great individual performances and some good team performances here tonight. For the Montpelier Lady Locos as they win 46-44 here tonight. Kelsey Bum led the way with 17, including drilling four threes on the evening. J.D. Reeves played around foul trouble, eventually did foul out. She scored 13 tonight. Mira McGee, 7. Aaliyah Hillard, 4. Zoe Reeves, 3. Madeline Hopper with 2. By the way, Mira McGee, a couple of big shots in that fourth quarter as well as a senior. For Eden tonight, Natalie Wolford, 18. Addison Briner, 14. Nevaeh Smith with 6. Grace Ripke, 3. Jasa Craven with 3 for their total of 44. Shooting the basketball tonight, Montpelier was 16 of 40, including 6 of 11 in that fourth quarter. They were 9 of 17 in the second half. 16 of 40 for the game, 6 of 15 from downtown tonight. Eden went 9 of 18 from the field in the second half. It's still pretty solid for the game, 17 of 37, just 1 of 7 from three-point distance. So Montpelier outscoring uh, Eden 18 to 3 from the three-point line. Uh, shooting from the foul line tonight, both these teams know they have to get better moving forward. Eden just 7 of 17 shooting free throws. Montpelier was 6 of of 11 at the foul line. Too many turnovers for both teams. 19 for Montpelier tonight. Eden committed 22 turnovers. Rebounding was close. Eden with an edge, 23 to 20. Again with the win, Montpelier climbs to 4 and 1 on the season. They will play a Saturday game at Paulding in the afternoon. We'll be back here for Eden and Hilltop coming up on Friday night as Eden falls to 1-6. and six. Again, that is a non-conference game there. So again, our final tonight is 46-44, Montpelier with the win over Eden. Ben Murray will be with you with a brief scoreboard update presented by Midwest Community Federal Credit Union after this final break. Thanks to Matt Ripke, Don Walton, and the coaches tonight, Mike Bum and Kayla Walker. Again, it's 46-44, Montpelier with the win. So long, everybody.